Hi guys, welcome to Thursday's Home Learning. Uh, today's maths, we're going to be looking at fractions as, per sorry, we're going to be looking at percentages as fractions and decimals and have a look at how they all um, can be converted into each other. Um, good luck with that, that is a little bit tricky. Take your time, watch the video, ask your grown up for help if you need it and if you still need help, drop us a message on Padlet and we will try our best to help you. I'm really impressed with how everyone's doing with their maths. Um, it is tricky to teach new maths when I'm not actually there with you, but you're taking it all in your stride and most of you are doing really well, so good job. Um, today's English, I want you to write a quiz about London. I want you to think of at least 10 questions um, about London that you definitely know the answer to. Make sure it's not an opinion question, like where is the best place in London? Because lots of people might have different opinions about that. It needs to be factual um, quiz questions about London and maybe you might get to use it in a Zoom quiz. That would be pretty cool. Make sure you punctuate your questions properly. Um, I look forward to seeing those. Um, today's spag is some handwriting. I found, well, I found this uh, poem is called If and it's a super, super famous poem by Rudyard Kipling. Who, I think Rudy, uh, Rudyard Kipling wrote The Jungle Book as well. He wrote lots of things. Um, this is such an amazing poem. It's a really, really famous poem. And I think it's really appropriate for the kind of thing that we're going through at the minute. It's about being strong, even when things are going tough. Um, and you know, you're, not having, you're not doing things that you're particularly enjoying, but you're still taking it in your stride and you're getting on with it and not complaining. Um, it's a really, really great, powerful poem. If you're feeling super impressive, you can have a go at learning a stanza and reciting it for me. Submit that over to me on um, Class Dojo. I really look forward to seeing your videos of your poetry. But I want you to have a go at copying this out in your neatest handwriting. Think about the um, feedback I gave you last week about your handwriting. What is it that you specifically need to work on to make your handwriting better? If your handwriting is beautiful already, you could do a little illustration for me at the bottom. That would be great. Um, but read the poem, have a little chat with your grown about it. It's, it's quite an old poem, so some things you might not quite understand what they mean. But it's just such a, a powerful, brilliant poem. Um, I think it's about people, I think it was written during the war. Well, I, think, I think so, I'm not sure. Um, amazing poem though. Anyway, uh, your topic today, you have a sheet that looks like this in your home learning pack, which has got lots and lots of events that happened in London um, at different times. I want you to have a go at creating a timeline of events from London. So they all have a date on there. Um, I want you to see if you can put them in order for me. Um, and a couple of them you might want to find out some more information about. So maybe choose a couple of them and have, do a bit of research, see if you can find out a little bit more information. Um, you might want to illustrate some of them. You might want to do this on a really long piece of paper. If you get a couple of pieces of paper, if you get a piece of paper like this, and you can cut it in half, and then stick those in a nice long line like we do a timeline at school, you might want to do it like that. Some illustrations would be good though, I look forward to seeing some pictures, um, that would be cool. Uh, and that is it for today, I hope you're all okay. I'm at school today so I won't be on the Padlet as much but Johanna and Maria will be there. Um, I also wanted to mention if anyone wants to pick up their um, bag of sports equipment from Ellie today, I will be at school and I'll make sure they're left in the office. So if anyone with their grown up would like to come and collect their sports packs today from Ellie, which she left for you last week, um, and it's safe for you to leave your home and you, and you can come to school and pick them up, then you can do that. We'll be at school between nine and three. So make sure you're there between nine and three and I'll make sure I can get those for you. Uh, miss you all, look forward to seeing you all soon, hopefully. Um, have a lovely day, bye.